Well, good morning. Good morning, everyone. We're just going to jump right into it. We're going to skip the hellos. We're going to skip the goodbyes. And we're just going to get right into this. So what's going on with YouTube? What What is the deal? What happened? So recently, YouTube was uh, guilty of some shenanigans. Uh, they were basically collecting data on minors, on uh, YouTube users that were under 12 or 13, I believe, which is illegal. So there's something called the Child Online Privacy Protection Act, which prohibits companies from collecting <laughs> uh, data from children online. Well, as you know, YouTube does targeted advertising, so they're collecting data from all their users, even young uh, children. And not only were they doing that, is that they were going after advertisers claiming to be the most watched website. Uh, let's see, what do they get? I have what they said right here. Uh, YouTube is unanimous, unanimous, unanimously voted as the number one website for kids. 93% of kids use YouTube, blah, 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 all these stats, right? Well, that's all fine and dandy until they went to advertisers. Um, and here we go. But when an advertiser raised Issues of COPA, the Child Online Privacy Protection Act, a Google employee said, we don't have users that are below 13 years of age, therefore COPA does not apply to us. So they're targeting, so they got busted targeting uh, like advertisers for kids like Mattel, things like that. Um, and then they said, we don't have to worry about COPA. So they get slapped with a $170 million fine from the FTC which again this is all right you know they shouldn't be doing stuff like that however the previous largest fine ever handed out for a copa violation was 5.7 million dollars so the ftc is looking to make an example out of google and how is this ripple effect make it down to us small time creators so youtube is now beginning january 1st they're going to start doing things a little bit differently so one thing you're going to have to do now when you upload a video is you're going to have to check a little mark that says um, is it kid friendly or not kid friendly. Now obviously you want to put kid friendly on there if it's kid friendly, which is fine. However, if you mark it as kid friendly, that means that you have to disable. So, so here's the here's gray area. So let's let's take a step back. So YouTube has two ways of tracking they have kid appropriate content and then they have these are all hidden tags this is nothing done by us as creators but youtube's ai will tag something as targeted for kids and then they'll have another tagging system that says safe for kids so there's this gray area of when you're uploading a video um on january 1st i should say when you upload a video it's gonna say is this kid friendly well, yes, it is. So if it's kid friendly, then let me, okay. I'm trying to, I'm trying to figure out how to word this so it makes sense. So if your videos are, let's back up even more. Let's back up even more. If your videos are targeted towards kids. So if you're making unboxing videos of toys, things like that, you have to starting January 1st, disable interest based ads. So again, tabs, ads that are targeted towards you as a viewer, which for me as a creator, uh, constitutes about 85% of my ad revenue. So if I make a kid, or if I make a kid, if I make a video for a kid, then boom, I've already lost 85% of my revenue. The gray area is the second system there is what if YouTube tags it appropriate for a kid, then are they going to disable the interest-based ads because they're no longer allowed to grab that data, right? So, but it gets worse. It gets worse. So again, on April 1st, or April 1st, man, I'm just all over the place. I've been up way too long and went to bed way too late. January 1st, they're going to get rid of both of those tagging systems. And here's another piece of the problem. So there'll be no more videos targeted towards kids. There'll be no more tags saying kids friendly. They're going to treat everyone on the platform like you're 10 years old, which to me is a huge problem. So me, you guys, they're they're taking every single viewer and saying, you guys are 10 years old and we're gonna dictate what's safe 
for 10 years old. We don't care if you're 100, 50, 25, it doesn't matter. So uh, the estimates are 85% revenue loss for interest-based ads, um, which how does that affect us? Well, I can tell you it's definitely gonna affect content creators, It's going, but it's not going to affect the corporate channels. You better believe that ABC, NBC, all these stupid sports center channels, these late night talk shows, they're not gonna suffer. It's gonna be us, the content creators, that suffer. Now, the other thing I want you to be weary of is the, the, the content creators that are gonna try to scam you. That's, that's coming down the line. It, they're gonna say, oh, my, my ads are you know taken away, my channel's demonetized. Uh, so watch for that. There's an easy way to tell. Um, all you have to do is open up an incognito window, go to their channel, watch a video, and if it plays an ad, then they're not demonetized. So uh, a lot of this was going around before, and uh, so don't fall for it. There's probably going to be a lot of people begging. Um, but the scary thing, well, it's not even scary. So yesterday or the day before, I got sent a survey by YouTube to fill out, and everything was about memberships. So I feel like between this settlement and this random survey that I got, uh, they're going to start going for memberships. Um, I don't, I don't know. That's just what I feel like. And you guys are never going to get a hard sell for me on becoming a member. Like never. Uh, I mean, I appreciate my members. If you want to be a member, awesome. But I'm never going to be like, oh my god, I lost 85% of my revenue. Be a member. Uh, so just be wary of that. Uh, I feel like there'll probably be a lot of that going around. And a lot of it may not even be justified because us as fish channels, I don't know that we're going to be too affected by this. It really depends how the tagging system works. So again, it's in that gray area of, okay, my video is appropriate for kids. Does that automatically mean that I'm losing my revenue? And this also goes back to previous videos. So I'm going to have to go back to old videos of like all the bad Bob videos. I'm going to have to delete those. Um, because it's not just January 1st going forward. It's your entire channel over the history of the channel. So it could be interesting. I don't know. We'll have to see what happens. Um, but yeah, I don't know. This is all like brand new. So it's all happened within the week here. Uh, I thought it was going to be kids only and child appropriate. Wow, what if I feel like a kid? Yeah. Uh, how will the U YouTube kids app no, oh, 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 well, there's something else here, so too. Something else just to think about. So the FTC has said not only are they going to go after Google, they're definitely making an, making an example out of Google, but they're saying there's other platforms, obviously like Twitch. Uh, if you're a gamer, you got to be, you got to be scared, uh, if, especially if you're doing like any type of first person shooting, like we're doing on my other channel, uh, any type of uh, maybe violent game. I mean, it's a game. It's not violent. Come on, people. Um, but yeah, any type of first-person shooter, any maybe role-playing game, um, basically anything, almost any game now, unless you're playing like Minecraft, is going to be deemed inappropriate. And those guys are going to lose so much money on YouTube. So much money. If you're a gamer on YouTube, I feel so bad for you right now. I should probably put my chat up here, huh? Uh, so what else, um, man, I just, it's, it's scary to think of what they're going to be doing. New channel coming then, deleting the old one altogether. No, no, my gaming channel is not monetized, so I, I could care less. Uh, but what if they go after Twitch? Can you imagine if they go after Twitch? Uh, Twitch is huge. Twitch is absolutely, there's people making more on Twitch than on YouTube, uh, as far as like the, the big, the big names. So if they go after Twitch, people will. Uh, people are just gonna lose it. Think about these bigger channels even on YouTube. They have like entire staff like a whole production crew 85% of your revenue gone. You got to lay off everyone you work for and now your super awesome videos are gonna suck, but I Don't know can you guys hear the kids screaming outside? They don't like it either Nobody likes this news Everyone is gonna start playing Mario again. Yeah 
My son will be sad. No Fortnite. Awesome. Maybe he will do his homework. I'm sure people will still stream it, but like I said, it's going to be membership. It's going to be sponsored. Um, I don't know. Like YouTube is just not going to take away 85% of their revenue. So they're, they're going to get it from somewhere. What if a child identifies an adult? <laughs> yeah. Oh man, there's so many what ifs, like we don't know. But but again, so not only is, is FTC going to go after every platform, they're actually going to go after creators. They're going to go after and find creators. So I can't ever imagine a situation where I get a fine because there's never going to be a time when I upload a video and say, well, actually... You know, who's to say? So the FTC is going to go after creators when they say that their their content is kid-friendly and somebody somewhere in the world deems it as not kid-friendly, then they're going to find the creator. I mean, all of my stuff is pretty kid-friendly to begin with, but that's pretty scary. That's pretty scary. The FTC is going to go after individual creators. So YouTube will get a fine and the content creator will get a fine because somebody let their 10 year old watch something that they shouldn't have, uh, which is just absolutely bonkers to me. Um, uh, chat, chat will be disabled. So if you get uh, like your whole, if you get one video where there's something inappropriate in the chat and the chat gets turned off by YouTube, then your whole channel chat will be disabled. Think about that. Think about that. Like no chat, like what would be the point if I couldn't chat with you guys, there'd be no point to upload videos. Uh, that's that's scary. Uh, this isn't this isn't really government overreach. This is YouTube and Google. Uh, now, as far as the FTC finding uh, content creators, uh, supposedly, you know, they're only going to go after people that try to deceive the system. Which there there will be those people. There's always those people. Um, but what if it's an honest mistake, like? I don't there's what a, there's certain things you can't say on TV that you can say on YouTube. Can I not say those on YouTube now? I don't know. Uh, are they going to find MGM or Fox or Disney when a parent lets their kid watch a rated R movie, like a 10-year-old watch a rated R movie? Uh, are they going to go after the 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 studios and find them? Like I don't know. To me it's just just like where's the personal where's the personal personal responsibility here? Like, don't just give your kid an iPad that's two years old. That's what the FTC says. Uh, be, uh, 93% of kids between 2 to 12 watch YouTube unsupervised. Now, I don't know where they get this stat, but that is their stat. Who who Who's doing that? Like, who just hands their two-year-old an iPad and say, go to town, kid. <laughs> Here's the internet. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, maybe I just don't understand it because I'm not a parent, but uh, that's just that's just crazy. Now, I don't want to get too much into politics here, but I don't feel like I should be fined for making uh, like a, a, a PG-13 video and then a three-year-old watches it and now I'm in trouble. Uh, looks like we got a new member. That's pretty awesome. Who do we have here? Rockland. Hey, Rockland, you've been doing a lot of commenting on my videos. I appreciate it says finally super cool um welcome there are you now have access to my fish that i got uh, i uploaded a video yesterday for uh some behind the scenes sneak peek stuff so you can take a look at the new fish i got uh they'll that video is coming out to everyone tomorrow so you could see it a day early <laughs> um yeah so anyways it's almost like youtube is trying to commit suicide well, again, so YouTube is not really promoting content creators anymore. They're promoting network television, uh, which is very unfortunate because people people are cutting the cable to get away from that. And now that's what YouTube is promoting because that's the big bucks. That's, you know, those companies are paying YouTube tons of money to be on the front page if and uh, front page trending, whatever. So I actually went and looked at the trending tab today. So you, when you do this stuff, you got to do it as incognito because... They do target you. So, so I went, well, this is probably like four or five hours ago, but I went to the trending page and what did I see? I saw 
Stephen A. Smith on there, I don't even know how many times, which is a sports center, the most annoying sports center anchor in the history of sports center. Uh, let's see, there was Jimmy Fallon was on there, other to- other late night. It was all like ABC, NBC, late night, uh, and sports center. And then all the way down at the bottom, all the way down was the bottom was PewDiePie's new video. Now, I don't really like PewDiePie's videos, uh, but I do like him as a person. Uh, I probably don't like his videos because I don't like Minecraft, but <laughs> uh, here you have the largest like content creator on YouTube, and he ha- his video had over 20 million views in under two days, and all the videos that were above him were like 600,000, 1 million, 2 million. You ten- you're telling me that, that a dude is on trending last, all the way on the bottom of the list, with 10 million views a day. But somehow these these like late night shows that are getting five six hundred thousand views is trending higher. Like how does that make sense? So there's obviously bias, and we can see where YouTube is going. And uh, it sucks hitting the you know hitting the trending uh, front page. Any of that is is almost impossible now. And yeah, they throw on some random people up there to say, hey, we're we're creator friendly. But let's be real here, they're not. Uh, Barry Bottoms Aquarium, do you remember me? I will remember you. Don't don't let your life pass you by. Uh, it's like a bank gets robbed, but instead of arresting the thief, uh, the bank's founder is arrested. Yeah. <sighs> so anyways, that's where we're at with YouTube. I think January 1st is going to be very interesting to see what happens. Um, again, just don't get get uh, sucked into some, some BS. But I'll still be here. So... I have a pretty high BS meter, I feel. <laughs> uh, but they're definitely going towards fan funding, for sure. I mean, I just... I don't know. It is what it is. Fan funding. Uh, to me, I actually enjoy fan funding. Um, I, like I, I said this in a previous stream. The $100 a, a month that I'm saving on my cable bill, I try to support uh, creators and buy their merch, things like that. And I would much rather do that than pay pay comcast a hundred dollars a month um the water rocks man still gonna see what happens yeah i mean obviously this is not like um (laughs) it's not like armageddon we're not going to start deleting channels there are people deleting big channels though um because all of their content is just going to get demonetized anyways it's out there like people have already deleted channels with hundreds of thousands of subscribers uh these are mostly inactive channels um that maybe get uploaded to like once every couple weeks or once a month so but still i mean tv is dying sports and late night is pretty much all they got youtube is going wait youtube is like going for all the eight track tapes in 1980 yeah it's like (laughs) it's like getting your kid a uh a walkman in 1997 right where's my cd player dude where is my cd player you got me a freaking walkman uh youtube is dumb everyone is leaving the platform a tryout uh, bit shoot. If you can find your faves, uh, I've never even heard of that. Uh, the, the, the problem is, 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 is YouTube ever going to die? No. I mean, it's the second largest website in the world behind Google. So one company owns the two, like, uh, well, not largest websites, the largest search engine, search engine. So Google and YouTube are one and two and the largest search engines in the world, so they're not going to go anywhere. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm prompting to expand out of just YouTube to keep content alive. Anyways, if you can watch, wait, if I can watch you flip motorcycles and call BS on cheaters and hackers, I'll quit. <laughs> if I can. So, okay, well, we're not going to talk about my gaming channel. Um, but yeah. Anyways. So that's where we're at. We got like, we got like three months left of some some good times, and then it should be interesting to see what happens. Uh, Facebook Facebook's worthless now too. Facebook is actually doing really well. Like we can all hate Facebook. I hate Facebook. Uh, the problem is is that Facebook is doing really well, even with the huge fines that they're getting. It's just you know, I mean, let's be real. One hundred seventy million dollar fine to Google is like pff, okay. <laughs> So, whatever. <laughs> you know, they make that in like a minute. 
I miss Netscape. Shoot. Um, how can I find your gaming channel? Uh, I don't know if it's Steenfot Gaming or just Big Steen. I changed it. It might just be Steenfot Gaming. Uh, and I haven't even had time to play for a couple weeks, so. Uh, Reddit R Aquariums. Oh, man. I was in R Aquariums for like two weeks, and I was like, screw you guys. Like, this is worse than any old school forum ever. Uh, hold on. I'm bringing up my gaming channel. I'll link it for you. Uh, yeah, there it is. There it is. Did that work? I don't know if that worked. Uh, and, and Facebook also has, I'm not going to say like a high conversion, uh, but it's, it's up there. Like Instagram is worthless. If you want to talk about an, uh, an absolute worthless like platform, as far as like monetizing or being a creator, like that's absolutely worthless. Like Instagram TV, there's like no rev sharing. There's no ad revenue, none of that stuff over there. So I don't even know why people make content for Instagram TV. You get absolutely nothing out of it. Nothing. Uh, if the creator gets no money, then YouTube should not be allowed to put ads on videos. Well, it's still their website, right? They can do whatever they want. <laughs> so, but I, I get what you're saying. And um, YouTube is pretty much... YouTube and Twitch. YouTube is obviously the big one, the biggest, and the first for rev sharing. Um, and now Twitch you know, is doing it, but... Yeah, it's um, it's interesting. I'm really curious to see what happens if they go after Twitch uh, or maybe hopefully this was just some power struggle between the FTC and Google and, you know, it'll end at Google. I don't know. Uh, here's Big Steen Gaming. Bob's stalker pops up. <laughs> Hello, Teresa. Um, I love Instagram. Like, it, it's probably Instagram is probably my favorite social media platform, uh, but it's it's absolutely worthless as a creator. That's why like every every well I'm, I can't say it's absolutely worthless because there's people that get like free trips around the world and blah 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 just for posting a picture of some product. But uh, there there's definitely like money to be made there, but it's not like it used to be. Uh, what about the UFC dude who makes more on Instagram? Then in the squared circle, well, the UFC doesn't pay for crap. <laughs> so, let's be real. So the thing about Instagram is you're not getting paid by Instagram. You're getting paid by advertisers. And I think that's maybe what Google is seeing, that the content creators over on Instagram are, you know, they're paying or they're doing all the legwork themselves. They're getting their own advertisers, their own product endorsements. And maybe YouTube is like, well, why are we splitting our ad revenue if they're clearly capable? But uh, it's it's different content, like it's pictures. And nobody is using Instagram TV, like nobody, let's be real. Uh, they just need to put a content control function, i.e. you can't see this video unless... Yeah, so I don't even know like why this is a problem. It's not a problem in the movie industry, it's not a problem in the gaming industry, it's only a problem with YouTube. And it just comes down to controlling what your kids watch like be aware don't give them a don't give them an, an an ipad and then go do something for a couple hours you know i mean again i'm not a parent so maybe i don't understand but uh this doesn't seem right to me i don't know uh, i like instagram but i use it for random photo sharing yeah insta is just another way to push viewers to my vids but yeah you ain't making anything from it unless you get sponsored also the water box um, conversion ratio, conversion, conversion ratio on Instagram is terrible. It is absolutely terrible. And it's really easy to figure this out. Uh, and what I mean, like if you post something on Instagram and say, go check out my video, the, the percent of people that actually go check out your video is under 1%. It is like, it is so minimal. It's like, I don't even do it. Like sometimes I do it, but because there's no link for someone to click on, like they have to go to your profile, click on your YouTube link in your profile, um, it, it's insanely low. And another way you can check this is if you go to Instagram and you see these content creators, like I know somebody 
um, on Instagram that has like 200 and over 200,000 followers on Instagram and they're and they're posting like go check out my video and then you go to their YouTube channel and they have three or four hundred subscribers so that right there tells you that Instagram is terrible at converting people to YouTube subscribers absolutely terrible and it's across the board like there's another person I follow that has uh, 120,000 Instagram followers and their YouTube channel is at like 600 subscribers and again they're promoting it but the the conversion ratio is just awful like getting people to, to go over there and actually watch it and subscribe now if you do the same thing on YouTube it's way higher on YouTube so if I post a video on YouTube and groups um, on my page anywhere because there's an actual link that you can click on it's far superior so Facebook still has its advantages Instagram is just I don't know it's it's like for for uh, oh, well anyways uh, uh, especially in, in our genre like if you look at fish companies on Instagram they're terrible they're terrible they don't know what they're doing they don't even post they don't push Instagram um, I think the only company that like that I know of that well the only I should say like bigger company would be like Fritz they're super active um, but they don't post original content uh, hardly ever so I don't know does that count uh, I have nothing against Fritz. I love Fritz products, but they, you know, they don't post original content. They just share other people's content. So I don't know if that's, if that counts. I don't know. Uh, NCUI intentionally does not want easy link to third party. Yeah. Yep. 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 Instagram is the best though. Yeah. Like I said, as a user, <laughs> I love Instagram. I can go on there and I can look at cool reptiles, cool motorcycles, uh, anything I'm interested in. I you just punch in that little hashtag and you're like Whoo! look at all these awesome photos uh yeah instagram is awesome but i don't uh i don't see the value in it as a youtuber like if i was an instagrammer then maybe but i don't know uh aqua prince says okay back to work see y'all later thanks for stopping by aqua prince holy smokes did we have over 150 people here on a friday morning that is an absolute record for a Friday morning stream. Uh, it says, oh, there's 150 right there. All right. Time was limited and she was not allowed to clear history because parents don't take responsibility for their kids. My daughter was not allowed internet unsupervised until she was 13. So there's other things to take in consideration. Like this is not all on YouTube or Google. This is the Child Online Privacy Protection Act that was that was uh when it took effect i think in 1998 when the internet was barely a thing like in order to get to something on the internet in 1998 that was inappropriate like you really had to know what you were doing um it's not like you can just go to these various you know video sites to show you know you know adult content it's not like you could just plug it in like now now it's ridiculous like the stuff that you can find on the internet now is crazy. So we have this antiquated law that was probably, um, you know, written. I don't even know who wrote it. Maybe maybe Al Gore. I mean, he made the internet, so maybe he made this law too. I don't know. But it's it's terribly like antiquated. Uh, technology has gone way too far. Uh, I have read a lot of it, and a lot of it just doesn't make sense anymore. So uh, I don't know if it needs to be updated. <sighs> but well, obviously it needs to be updated, but. Ugh. Uh, Cichlid Dude says, just got Borderlands 3, had to pause for the stream. I mean, really, Barbara, who watches children anymore? So boring. <laughs> uh, so anyways, that's it. I'm going to stop this rant. We're 30 minutes in. We get the point, right? Uh, January 1st, it's going to get real interesting around here. And uh, obviously, there will be lots of news um you know, we'll have way more information in the coming months. Uh, I will say the nice thing that YouTube did is give us four months warning uh, previously in, in you know, uh, in uh, adpocalypses in the past. It's just like, boom, you know, no warning, no pretext, no anything. It's just, boom, you're done. Uh, but now we get four months, we'll get to go, I have to go back and redo videos. Uh, like my trimming the bush video. I got to change the title of that 
the I think I got a video that says um, I think the title is I got wood so I got to change the title of that and the bad Bob stream I got to change the title of that and basically I'll probably just delete any of those So yeah, um, that's what I'll be doing. Killers Aquatic says hi, Bob. Bye, Bob. <laughs> Thanks, Bob, for stopping by, uh, and hope you have a good day. Uh, what did YouTube warn about? Oh, geez, Donald, we just went over this uh, for like thirty minutes. Uh, but starting January first, uh, we can uh, expect maybe loss of revenue up to eighty-five percent. But you'll have to rewatch it because I don't want to get back into it. Let's talk about fish, guys. Let's talk about fish, all right? I know there's a lot of a lot of YouTubers lurking in the stream right now that wanted to know about this. Uh, there you go. There's all your info. But let's talk about fish. Uh, the fish I got yesterday, my first wholesale order. Whew, boy, they are looking fantastic. I don't know if there's any members on the stream here that want to chime in on some of the fish I got. Uh, but the, I got some Scarlet Endlers. And oh man, do they look good. I got the luminous purple guppies. So, oh man, I posted a video in the member section only yesterday. So hopefully the members can chime in and maybe agree with me here. Uh, but, and that video has no editing at all. No color correction. It's just a raw footage video. Uh, not leaving, thought you were shutting it down. No, 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 we're going an hour. I'm shutting down like, the uh, the praycox, but <sighs> so dang tanks. The white male guppies. I ordered twenty, and they sent two. So I'm keeping the two. <laughs> I'm keeping them. Uh, there we go. Bob Kaler says those endlers are sick. Candy says they look great. Uh, uh, Duke Nukem says the shipment looks awesome. Those endlers are on fire. I'm I can't wait. I'm gonna order some more next week. Um, also, I was talking to the wholesaler. And they said they're bringing in some epistos from the Czech Republic. Uh, we know, I don't know why it matters that they're coming or bred in the Czech Republic, but uh, that should be really, really cool. Uh, so I might be getting in epistos, uh, but we'll see, we'll see. Uh, what did I miss? Flip Aquatics, you missed everything, buddy. We're going to lose 85% of our revenue starting January 1st. Rewatch the first half hour of the stream, although it's probably pretty hard to watch because I'm kind of all over the place. <laughs> Uh, the two white are males. Yes, yeah, so as far as guppies, I can only buy males. Um, the females, for whatever reason, they list as uh, just fancy guppy. So I can buy fancy guppy females, but as far as the males, I can actually specific, uh, I can pick specific types. So like the luminous purple guppies. Oh man. Now I will say I was looking at him this morning and it's there's so there's some that look good and then there's so uh, like half of them look good and then like half of them look just downright amazing so you know uh unfortunately i would love to give everyone the amazing the amazing 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 ones but uh you know just just be the luck of the draw uh the the good ones will go first though so when the website goes live get your orders in uh, i already feel like i didn't order enough fish though i i didn't order hardly any fish and um yeah so things are gonna sell fast <laughs> uh those endlers are fire candy are you a millennial <laughs> um nope i'm old when you see them they look like fire need to source some young females to breed the white males to i'm actually gonna breed my white males to my female black moscows because i'm really curious what i would get out of that and what they would look like and uh, am I going to get some, like, cow-looking guppy? I don't know, but that'd be pretty cool. Uh, Friday evening here in Norway. Awesome. No more comedy. Yeah, so it really um, it really allows them... I didn't really want to get into this, but think about it. It really allows them to get into, like, free speech issues and to suppress free speech. Think about that. They're just going to say, like, oh... Well, you guys don't agree with Google's core value. Well, you guys are, are you guys you guys are just not advertiser friendly. We're just going to shut you down. And uh, I, we I promise it has, it has nothing to do with the fact that you know you disagree with our core values. You know it's, it's nothing like that. 
you're just your stuff is it's just not kid friendly so we're getting rid of all advertising uh and that's stuff that they've already done like they've already gotten busted doing that kind of stuff so this i think just opens the door even more but like i said as fish tubers uh we shouldn't have to worry about that too much um bob Kaler says those endlers have great conformity same markings good size very consistent males they had some tuxedo guppies that i'm going to bring in uh, next time that uh, i think are going to be really really cool uh i would love to see the guppies are they on instagram no 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 crystal so the video comes out tomorrow uh yeah the unboxing video is tomorrow you'll see them all um uh you'll see him right out of the bag you'll see him a day later yeah how about galaxy rasbora the only rasboras i got are neon green and neon blue and um man what are the what are the, what are the other oh man i'm drawing a blank what are the other rasboras i got <laughs> uh they weren't on my original list uh i'm totally like spacing out harlequin harlequin rasboras uh green fire tetras the funny thing is is like when i got them the green fire tetras so they came in really small and the neon blue and the neon green like since there was no color on them you know they were they were stressed from from uh you know being sent here uh, they all looked the same and i was like i don't know which one of these are which but as soon as I dropped them down in the water, it, they almost colored up immediately, and it was easy to tell. But it was funny, like, unboxing the bag, I was like, um, I think these are the green ones. I think these are the blue ones. <laughs> it's pretty funny, because they, 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 they don't label them. Uh, I'm thinking about ordering a custom tank, long and low. I've always wanted a tank like that. Like, I've wanted, a like, a 10-foot, hmm... I used to want a 10 foot 12 by 12, but now I want like a 10 foot 16 by 16. I think that would be really fun. Uh, it's so subjective. It's not fair to creators. And also they're relying on AI and AI is what's caused like every ad apocalypse in the history of YouTube. And going back on it, looking at it now, the ad apocalypse did not affect any uh, fish tubers at all. Like, let's be real. Uh, back then I didn't know I just saw the symbol that would say uh, your video is potentially inappropriate and has limited ads but again if you do the same trick if you open an incognito window and go look at the video it was still playing ads so uh, just be careful don't let anyone fool you yes people are gonna be losing mass amounts of revenue but people are also gonna say I'm losing so much revenue when they're not just to maybe gain super chats or memberships um a patron so just just be wary just be careful uh if you actually open an incognito tag a uh, tab go to someone's channel and there are indeed no ads playing that's how you know that person is telling the truth or not <laughs> um i just got here missed all the fun but the ad apocalypse just helped advertisers pay less oh uh, that's a great uh, that's a great ground upon size. Best height for built in benches, sixteen to eighteen inches. I think I'm ordering custom tank. What's up, Bob? Oh, what's up, bearded fish keeper? Been a minute since I've seen you in here. Hope you're doing well. Uh, how different from each other do the neon green and the blue look like? Oh, it's totally different. Totally different. Now that they're not in a bag, so when you're when you're looking at a fish in the bag, uh, it's not like looking at at them in an aquarium. Uh, obviously, because there's all kinds of like distortion. Uh, because of the plastic bag but now that they're in the uh now that they're in the tanks it's easy to tell the difference uh the blue neon rasboras came in so small though i don't even know that i'm going to ship them for a while we'll have to see uh from marketing perspective walking away during each ad apocalypse then come back allow the advertisers to negotiate for lower rates each time well again the, oh, the whole ad apocalypse thing uh, didn't affect fish tubers at all. I don't care what any fish tuber says. Um, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm not buying it. Now, now that we can go back and look at the data, uh, at the time though, you know, we didn't know. Like it just said inappropriate, uh, limited ads. Uh, and that was for the first one. By the second ad apocalypse, it was pretty easy to tell, uh, you know, who was truthful and who was fibbing. <laughs> but. Uh, you know, that's all in the past. 
Uh, Exotic Fish says, well, it was great here. See you on the next one, Bob. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. Uh, what else we got going on? Because YouTube does not stand up to them and maintain ads cost X. No matter what mentality, they just take anything they can get. Um, it's, yeah, there, I mean, there's definitely some things going on there. Like my ad, uh, my CPM didn't change at all. So that's one way I know. Um, and it's fun to joke about it. It's fun to say something stupid and be like, oh, now we're demonetized. Uh, but it's just a joke. Like we're not really demonetized. I didn't realize that Bentley, it also allows YouTube to negotiate higher rates, but they don't. Um, what would happen if I added a pea puffer to a guppy colony tank to eat up nuisance snails? Uh, it would probably eat up nuisance snails. <laughs> uh, try it. I'm sure it'll go after the, the, the snails, definitely. Now, don't get it just to get rid of the snails and then get rid of it, though. Don't do that. Uh, wait. Uh, just got here. Missed all the fun. I like green fires. Oh, Bob Killer says, I like green fire Tetris small like that. They usually first spawn as they grow into adult colors. Uh, yeah, they're, they're, they're small enough. The problem is that they're small enough to not be able to sex them. So it's going to be completely random, unfortunately. Like if you buy six of them. You know, you might get all females, you might get all males. Luckily, with green fire tetras, uh, even the females get the color, but they don't get the uh, the white tips is the only difference, really, as far as how they look. Uh, the guppies won't terrorize the puffer. I doubt it. I doubt it. They might, uh, they might be curious at first. Um, also, be aware that while puffers, like a pea puffer and an Amazon puffer, are generally considered, like, you know... Not well, pea puffers, not so much. Pea puffers can be angry, so let's just leave it at that. You might get a pea puffer that's just angry at life and wants to kill everything. Uh, question for you Do you like aquatic banana plants? I've tried keeping them, but I've never had any luck, so I kind of gave up on them. But they but they're neat looking. Uh, I'm in the exact different boat. I do not like the way banana plants look at all, <laughs> so no, I have never kept them uh, specifically for that reason. Uh, do they look interesting? Yeah, I'll give them that. But do I like them? No. No. Uh, they would also nip the guppies. My peas will eat me. <laughs> I have one pea puffer that is vicious. I have one pea puffer in my 125-gallon tank. Um, and maybe the tank is just too big for me to notice, but I have not noticed it go after a fish at all. Uh, it does go after... The uh, snails, though, definitely. Ginger Grave says, I got my co-op plant order today. Let Jordan know that adding the cute hand-drawn snail and thank you know is really sweet. Um, somebody made a order through my affiliate link for $170, so thank you. If that was you, I appreciate it, but always appreciate people using the affiliate link. That's always nice and appreciated. Um, it makes sense, Bentley. Just surprising that YouTube allows it. Um, they they definitely cave to advertisers, um, especially when they don't need to, which is the problem. Uh, next fish I'd like to get neon green rasboras. Love the way they look, Tessa. They are absolutely amazing. Uh, mine colored up pretty nicely, although the tank they're in makes it hard to see and hard to film. And you guys will see that uh, tomorrow. What's the deal with 85% decrease? You'll have to go back and watch the beginning. Uh, there was like the whole first 30 minutes of the live stream is on it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, some people are expected to lose 85% of ad revenue uh, or higher or higher even uh, come January 1st. Good stuff. Steven says, are you going to put any of your Black Moscow strain for sale on your website? Yes, Steven, but it'll be a very long time uh, because like an idiot, I just got rid of almost all my colony uh, um, like a month and a half ago, maybe two months ago. Um, I, I gave away a bunch of my colony, not thinking about <laughs> selling them online or, or before I had any 
any desire or dreams of opening my own online store. So, like an idiot, I did I did uh, get rid of a lot of them. So it'll take a while for me to build up the colony again, is what I'm saying. But yeah, absolutely. Um, I'll probably, hopefully, get some multis on my website as well, some shell dwellers, because I cannot get rid of those locally. So hopefully, hopefully when we go worldwide, and by worldwide, I mean the lower 48, <laughs> I can get rid of some. Are you going to have a reserve list? Uh, I don't plan on having a reserve list uh, now. That's not saying I'm not going to uh, put one in effect at all in the future, but probably not. It just seems like something else to manage, and uh, honestly, I don't want to manage a reserve list. <laughs> um... Life of Chris, anybody in New York want my softball size green terror? Raised him from a baby and kind of refused to bring a fish to a store just to have him sell and make money off him. All right, there you go. Anybody in New York that wants a softball sized green terror? Am I going to do flat rate shipping on my fish? Yes. As far as the price, I don't know. I don't know what the flat rate is. It'll be under $20, though. Will it be $20? I don't know. Um. I just, I just don't know yet. I haven't got that far. So it'll, either, it'll be $19.99 or cheaper flat rate shipping. Um, your store would appreciate your help. I love my Shellys and they're hard to get locally. Only Ocelotus are available. I've got a tank full of those already. I need Multis and Similis. Well, I will have Multis on the site. They will be on the site eventually. Um, so yeah. <sighs> but definitely flat rate shipping. So, you know, I'll win some. I'll lose some. The goal is to have her average out over time. So if I charge you $15 for shipping and your package comes in the mail and it says, you know, that the uh, shipping was $8, too bad. It's shipping and handling. So you paid $8 for shipping and, and $7 for handling. <laughs> but sometimes you'll get your order in the mail and it'll say $30 for shipping. And in that case, then you made out. You made out well. Uh, I will order them then. Uh, I love my Shelly's. Don't put price on the box. Yeah, I know. It's not always up to me, though. Bentley, how can YouTuber, YouTubers manipulate the ad system to maximize, or is this a stupid question? So, to say manipulate, I don't know if... I don't, I don't know what you're asking. There are strategies that YouTubers can do to increase their CPM. Like my CPM is, I think, $12 right now. Um, so there's definitely strategies. You're not manipulating anything. Uh, you're not doing anything that's against the rules, but knowing where to put your ads, knowing how many ads to put in, knowing when they get served, knowing that YouTube will only serve X amount of ads in X amount of time, um, there's so many things analytic wise behind the scenes as far as uh, increasing your CPM that's perfectly legit. Not a, you know you're not like manipulating anything uh, that a lot of people just don't know about because there's people out there with like two to three dollar CPM and uh, it's just crazy to me. Like I don't know. Uh, Teresa says, if you want colonies of purple, mosaics, and bronze, tiger, Moscow's, let me know. Are you asking me, or are you just letting the chat know? <laughs> um, I am definitely all right with buying fish from, from uh, subscribers. I've already got people uh, that breed fish offering. Um, however, it's important to know that I'm probably not going to pay more than wholesale pricing. Uh, it just doesn't make sense. New channel ideas, Steen Fought Aerobics, uh, Big Steen Pie Reviews, Everyone Loves Pineapple, and My Pet Brisket. I could do brisket. Like, if I had a channel that was big enough to where I could just fly around and eat brisket and then review it, how amazing would that be? Have you ever seen an arowana break its open or break open its jaw? Mine got spooked and smashed into something. Now his bottom lip is basically separated from the side pieces that hold his mouth together. Uh, broken jaw is uh, not uncommon in the fish world in general. Um, no ideas from me. Yeah, as far as how to fix it on an arowana, 
I'm, I have no idea. Um, Arowanans are definitely not my strong suit. But Tech Boy says, yep, yeah, broken jaw. Uh, I have, what do I have? What fish do I have? I think I have a Cyprochromus with a broken jaw. And it's uh, it's been that way for over a year. He just swims around with his mouth open, but he can still eat flakes and stuff, so he survives. Have a good Friday, folks. Time to head into a meeting at Purgatory. See you later, Bentley. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you have a good Friday and a great weekend. Uh, if you want, oh, you're asking me, uh, send me a message at steamfoodaquatics at gmail.com and maybe we can talk. Number five, how to be six feet two inches. Free piece of pie with pie orders. <laughs> Okay, well, winding down here. What else do we have to talk about? Uh, tomorrow's video is the wholesale order. Definitely check it out. Uh, it'll be like the first real unboxing video on my channel. I had the fake unboxing channel. The fake unboxing channel. Wow, that would be something. Uh, the fake unboxing video. That did really well. Uh, pissed off a lot of people. I don't know why. It was just a joke. Calm down. <laughs> Relax a bit. Uh, that video I unboxed fish of my local fish store that's no longer here. Um, but yeah, it's kind of, it's interesting. It's definitely not going to be Jimmy in aquarium co-op call quality. So I don't expect that. But yeah. How many liar tail killie fish would you keep in it with 20 diamond head neon tetra, 20 gold white, and a 47 gallon well planted tank? I have three males and five females right now. Uh, honestly, I probably wouldn't do much more than that. It seems like you already got some, some good stocking in there, 20 of each. Uh, plus, I, and you're, you're not going to have much uh, hostility between the, the, the killifish in that size tank. I just My concern is maybe the tank in general is getting pretty well stocked. Bare Bottoms Aquarium says, how are the ponds doing? The ponds are doing great. Uh, it is about time to bring in the turtle. Because it's getting pretty cold at night now, uh, and I just realized that I don't think I've ever shown my turtle on the channel. Maybe i got to make a video of that. Aquatic Ma, afternoon, noon, noon, afternoon. No, don't wind down. Coffee and Bob rambles make buying all the things so much more manageable. Yeah, but fortunately, i got things to do. I'm going to uh, be doing multiple dump runs. Okay, so here's something we can talk about. That video I did of all that crap that was in my garage. And I was like, keep this, keep this, keep this, keep this. Uh, maybe throw that away. Keep, 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 keep. I'm, I'm done, I'm done. I'm just tossing everything. Everything that's in that video, I don't even care. Like, I gotta just completely gut my garage because we're building a fish room in there. And everything's gotta go, everything. So I gotta get in a truck after the live stream. I'm gonna go get one of my dad's trucks coming back here and I'm just loading up everything. Um, and everything is getting trashed. Do you think a 29 gallon is big enough for a blue Akara for life? Um, I don't think that I would enjoy that that setup. Excellent idea of making a fish room the way you really want it. You will like it so much better. Yeah, and it's going to be, so it's going to be completely modular too. Uh, it's something that I want, obviously, so when I say modular, that means it's not going to be permanent. Like I'm not putting in permanent walls, um, it uh, it's gonna be interesting. So I haven't really, I haven't really worked out how I'm gonna do that, but I have an idea. I've been watching a lot of videos on YouTube about building uh, like uh, not false walls, but temporary walls. Uh, did I say false walls before? I don't think I said anything. But temporary walls, um, how to build them so that they're you know more portable than permanent. And then the main challenge is gonna be electricity. Uh, there's two outlets in the entire garage, so not really sure what I'm going to do about that yet, but that is definitely the major setback. Thanks, Ginger. Appreciate the feedback. I know the snake. from seeing them all my life. Not poisonous, not a viper. Love having them on my property as we have copperheads here. Uh, excellent idea of making the fish room. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, Ginger, that's that's the idea that, like, I could have brought in, I could have set up those Costco racks. I could have set up way more fish tanks. I could have brought in way more fish 
and made way more money. But at the end of the day, like, I just don't want it to be like my fish room. And when I say my fish room, so the way I built my fish room, I didn't even build the fish room. It was just all pieced together. It was like, all right, someone's giving away a 75 gallon tank. Let's go pick it up. All right, someone's giving away a 37 gallon tank. I'm going to go pick it up. Oh, this person over here, they're giving away a 100 gallon stand, which is why I now have a 75 gallon, which is a four foot aquarium on a 100 gallon stand, which is a five foot aquarium. So like, I just, and when I say this, there's, it's like non-conform. I mean, there's like, there's just no consistency. There's different size tanks everywhere. And like, if I would have set up the garage like that, yeah, I could have brought in more fish. I could have made more money. But at the end of the day, like, I don't care about money. I care about ease of use. Um, I care about if I'm going to enjoy it. So the way, the way I'm going to build this thing is here. I'm thinking of building all the stands first and then butting up the wall to the back of the stand. And it, it'll, it'll still be a framed wall so that uh, if I need to run electricity, we can run electricity through the frame, you know, just like that. Um, it'll also allow me to customize. Cause I'm, at first, I'm not going to set it up with all the water changing, but if I set it up that way, it'll be real easy just to plumb in auto water change. Um, it'll be really easy if I, if I ever need access to the back of the tanks, I can just be like zip, zip off comes the wall. Now I have the, you know, the whole back of the, the tanks. Uh, I'm going to do like 40 gallon breeders, which are 18 inches deep, but I'm going to make the stands like 20 inches. So that we'll have uh, a couple inches behind there to play with like airlines and plumbing and things like that. So yeah. $10 super chat from Ginger Graves wall fund with the custom emoji dope. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. Solar is the power. Yeah. Yep. Eventually, honestly, if this was my house, I would, I would have solar panels a long time ago and we'll, I'm still going to get there. Then fortunately though, the garage is like on the opposite side of the sun. So I would have to put the panels on the other side of the house, run all the wires to the other side of the house. So there's a lot more, like I said, if it was my house, I would have done it already. And I would like, <laughs> like if it was my house and I built this fish room in the garage, I would be like drilling right out the side of the house. I don't even care. I would have uh, like a one inch PVC pipe sticking out of my house for all like the drainage for the auto water system. <laughs> and, and I wouldn't even care. I'm like, yep, I just put that hole in my in in my house. Don't even care. <laughs> uh, what's going on here? Uh, Kaler Aquatics, is this a sticker? Oh my gosh, I forgot about stickers. Ten dollar sticker. That's crazy. Thank you, Bob. I appreciate it. And a new member, the Cichlid dude. Wow, that was a lot of stuff that happened at once. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, okay, that's an adorable hippo. Is he like KOing me though? Is he like? Ugh. upper punch why why are you knocking me out you give me ten dollars and then you knock me out hmm i don't know if it's worth it <laughs> another brick in the wall oh man i haven't heard that song in forever i'm in a rental i'm in a rental too but i don't know what my owner thinks so so the owner is like totally gung-ho on board with everything i want to do but i have a feeling that he might draw the line if I start drilling like one and a quarter inch holes out the side of his house, <laughs> that, like right through the siding. I don't even care if it was my house, man, I would just be all over the place with a hole saw. Here's a drain, here's a drain, don't even care. <laughs> Can always plug it later. <laughs> Love tap from a hippo, <laughs> all right. I've tried that, it's never worked for me. <laughs> uh, where do you get the hat, this hat? It's got like little lines in it too. See? It's got like some kind of weird design there. I don't know. I just bought it from the store, uh, specifically Fred Meyer. I don't know that you have Fred Meyers in New York though. <sighs> All right, guys. Thanks for the for the uh, two ten dollars super chats, Ginger and Bob Kaler. I really really appreciate it. The new members, um, the Rockland and the Cichlid dude. Awesome. Super cool. Um, Jay's crazy obsessions. You missed it all because we are now coming to an end. I wish, I wish I could go longer. The unfortunate part about doing these streams in the morning is that I can't go longer because I just have too much stuff to do. Uh, Monday night, like that's the unwind. 
I don't do anything after my streams except eat dinner and relax with my animals. Uh, but now, like, I gotta go get the truck. I gotta go probably make two dump runs. Uh, my whole, like, driveway right now is a pile of trash. I, I seriously went into the garage and I just started throwing stuff in the driveway. I'm like, I don't even care. And I was just chucking stuff left and right. I'm like, if I haven't used you in the last two months, get out of here. You're going to the dump. And I feel bad because, you know, this is stuff that people could use, but at the same time, like, I can't be waiting to have people come to my house. I can't be waiting to ship stuff out. Um, I just, you know, I got to get stuff done. So I feel bad. Don't get mad when you see me throwing away thousands of dollars in fish stuff. Maybe I won't even film it. I probably won't be too busy. Anyways, guys, it has been great. Thank you, everyone who came and, uh, you know, watched and shared and liked and commented and thumbs up and thumbs down and all that nonsense. I really appreciate it. Um, to the subscribers, I, I lost. Um, I'm sad I lost you, but we'll leave the light on and hopefully you'll come back. I'll see you guys on Monday.